Welcome back, trainers. So we have some exciting times going down in Pokemon Go. Currently, right now, we do have double XP, which is going to be outstanding for legendary raids if you do have a lucky egg on. Armor Mewtwo coming in tomorrow. Entei Raid Day coming down the line here. And with those free raid passes, if you are a free-to-play player, this is going to be the time to definitely stack up that XP. Team Rocket should be following right behind Armor Mewtwo, I do believe, as well as the Shadow Pokemon, and we have a better understanding as to how that is going to work. And good news, I'm not too sure 100%, but I'm thinking we're going to be able to use the Shadow Pokemon themselves. But there is a catch. It's going to cost a little bit more Stardust to power them up and a few other things in between. So with that said, let's hop into the video, see what we have going on here, and check it out. All right, so taking a look at the rewards here, we do have three times XP for hatching and three times XP for catching. And then when we go to raids, we're gonna have times two XP. If it was three times, that'd be extremely OP, but it's still pretty good currently. Uh, just make sure you turn on that lucky egg and you're going to be able to amass a lot of it very quickly. So as far as the lucky eggs in the shop, there are gift boxes in which you can purchase those or you can get them individually. And we're also going to have that one hour lucky egg time, which is going to be fantastic, especially come your Raikou raid day. Uh, even outside the Raikou raid day, just raiding the regular raids currently. And we're going to be going over that armor Mewtwo, which is coming in tomorrow. Now, as far as the Entei raid, that is going to be on July 14th from 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. Your local time zone. You're going to get five free raid passes. And remember how to get those is spin the photo disc at five different gyms. Simple as that, it's not gonna be Pokestops and you can't sit at the same gym and get another one over and over again. It's gonna to have to be individual ones. So that's gonna be pretty nice. On top of that lucky egg, make sure you start it right in the beginning and you're going to get a lot of XP. Also, you're gonna be able to catch yourself possibly a shiny Entei. We're gonna be going over counters as well as do you wanna actually power that up gonna have this video jam-packed full of information for you so make sure you stick around also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of content all right now let's go ahead and take a look at the intake counters we're over here on the poke battler very good site now if you do have yourself rampart host that is going to be the number one counter but there's going to be a bit of a catch to that compared to kyogre for alligator and tyranitar so if we look at rampart host's time to win you have 570 seconds and then for Kyogre, you have 611. Now, yes, the Rampardos is going to be doing it a lot faster, but take a look at how many it's going to take. It's just about double compared to the Kyogre because it is such a glass cannon. It's a steep investment because for the most part, you're going to probably have to be putting in rare candies in these because we're not really sitting here catching a whole bunch or hatching a ton of them. So rare candy investment is going to probably be required to power up a few Rampardos. Personally, I have three of those. And I'm going to tell you this, it was worth every bit. I'm really happy with them. Yes, they can go down fairly quick, but they do dish out that damage. Now, a lot of us already do have Kyogres, so just go in there with those. You'll be perfectly fine. As well as for Alligator, Community Day, Waterfall, and then Hydro Cannon, Tyranitar. Let's take a look and compare to Rampardos. So time to win for Tyranitar is going to be 680 seconds with 22 of those. The Rampardos is at 570 with 30. So... It is going to take, you know, a little bit more than the Kyogres, uh, but it's still going to be putting in work. And I assume a lot of people have that SmackDown Stone Edge Tyranitar. And then moving down, we have Gyarados with Waterfall and Hydro Pump, Rhyperior with SmackDown and Stone Edge. And then you have Palkia, Dragon Tail, Hydro Pump, Groudon, Mudshot, Earthquake. We're not going to go too much further after the Garchomp, Omnistar with Rock Throw, Hydro Pump, and then finally Garchomp with Mudshot and Earthquake. And if you're wondering, well, why is Garchomp a little bit farther behind the Groudon? Well, because Entei is not going to be electric type. Therefore, it's not going to be really doubled up resisting just on that dragon typing. And that is why it's so far behind. Uh, but anyways, there you have your top counters. And simple as that, you don't really need to look out for much. Um, Entei could have Iron Head, although you need to look out for that. In which case, it's going to be doing a lot of damage to your Rhyperior as well as your Rampardos, okay? Otherwise, the Kyogre for Alligator, oh, also it's gonna be doing a lot of damage to Tyranitar with Iron Head. Uh, so your water type Pokemon are basically gonna be your best option, safest bet to go in there with. Um, but if you're raiding with a group, no big deal. So there you have your counters, 
for MT. All right, so this information is gonna be coming from Trails' Twitter, a data miner. I will be leaving a link in the description so you can go and follow him yourself. So if we look at the new badges, and I have good news, folks, you will be able to keep your Shadow Pokemon as well as use them too. But there's gonna be a bit of a catch. So let's go over the new badges. Purify, certain amount of Shadow Pokemon. And then you have Hero, defeat, certain amount of Team Go Rocket Grunts. So they're gonna be called Team go rocket grunts pretty interesting all right and then moving on to the key filters you have purified and shadow meaning you're going to be able to search for your purified pokemon that have been healed as well as your current shadow pokemon in your inventory and then moving on to the purification process new dialogue purification confirmation do you want to purify whatever certain pokemon it will gain a significant amount of cp cost less to power up and learn an exclusive charge attack return so not too sure how good return is actually going to be currently in pokemon go but this is basically confirming to you that you are going to be able to use your shadow pokemon um i'm hoping you're going to be able to use them in pvp as well as pve that'd be absolutely fantastic if they cost a little bit more to power up as a shadow pokemon yet their shadow moves did super effective damage to everything guess what I'm going to be totally down to power up that shadow pokemon for sure obviously i'm going to be purifying some but i don't want to purify them all i want that shadow pokemon too and i know a lot of you do as well seeing the first shadow pokemon video i made everybody was like why would you want to even purify anything <laughs> right they look so awesome all right up next we have the confirmation of team go rocket being at pokestops when you do spin those so let's go ahead and go over that Grunt Invasion Introduction. Some mysterious characters have shown up at Pokestops. Watch out, it might turn into a battle. So when you go up to a Pokestop, I'm assuming once this event begins, you spin it, and then that would become a battle. For some people who don't really care about this, that probably can become pretty annoying. Uh, but for the most part, for me, that sounds pretty fun. Almost as if I'm gonna have to be walking around, no more driving. Um, so we'll see how that goes. All right, now up next we have how you're going to actually obtain your shadow Pokemon. Grunt Invasion Encounter. They've carelessly abandoned the Pokemon they lost with, so when you battle them and they lose, they're just gonna leave it. I'm assuming it's gonna spawn on the map right next to that Pokestop. It has an ominous aura and is somewhat different from the regular Pokemon. Try to catch it so that you can save it. All right, so basically you're gonna catch it and then choose to purify it, in which obviously I'm gonna be doing those, but at the same time, I'm definitely gonna keep some of those shadow as well. And like we just went over, it uh, will be able to be purified here. It looks like we can help this Pokemon become stronger through the process called purification. Let's try it. So as a shadow Pokemon, it's going to cost more Stardust to power up. And they're claiming that it's not going to be as strong, but I don't know how that's all going to work because shadow Pokemon are supposed to be stronger, super effective type moves to everything. And we see nothing regarding shadow moves. So I'm hoping they're actually going to be able to get those. And then we have the Armor Mewtwo icon. This is going to be when you're scrolling through your CP Pokemon, and uh, that's the image you're going to see. And I know there's a shiny variance, but don't get hyped. I'm not even going to bring and lift that up, guys. There's not going to be a shiny Armored Mewtwo. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. They just put the shinies icons in there every time they add any sort of icon for a Pokemon specifically. And then the clothes, there you go. They're the clothes that we're going to be getting. Um... Yeah, they're, you know, they are what they are. I'm not really going to say too much. Personally, I'm not interested whatsoever, though. And finally, before I let you guys go, let's go ahead and go over Mewtwo Armored Form and when that's coming in. There was a bit of confusion in my last Mewtwo Armor video saying that we're going to be getting the Raid Days. Now, there's apparently been confirmation that we're not going to get a Raid Day tomorrow for Wednesday. I, we'll see how that goes for Mewtwo, uh, but we might get some down the line. Nonetheless, people thought that they were only going to come into Pokemon Go for those raid days, which that is absolutely not the case. They're going to be here from July 10th until July 31st, just like normal legendary raids spawning throughout the day and the time period of which raids do spawn. So there you go. All right, trainers. So this information just came in about Armored Mewtwo regarding its stats and its new moves. So I know a lot of you are probably going to be disappointed here. Let's go ahead and take a look. And what we have so the base stats we have stamina let's let's zoom in here 
stamina at 214, base attack 182, and then we have defense at 278. PvP tank beast. But look at that low attack. That's all right. We've seen Giratina uh, come in and actually become useful in PvP with its tankiness as well as its decent moves. Now, what about its moves? Let's go ahead and look at that. For the quick moves, we have Confusion and Iron Tail. All right, Confusion and Iron Tail for the quick moves. For the charge moves, we have Rock Slide, Dynamic Punch, which is a great fighting move, Earthquake, and then Future Sight, which you will be getting stabbed from that Psychic type move, but with a base attack of 182, it's not looking so hot, folks, for it. As far as like maxing out a whole bunch of them, taking it to a raid, and you, you can do that. You can do that, but the thing is, with an attack of 182, yeah, what, what's, there's no, I mean, power up one for fun. That's what I'm going to do. Absolutely going to get a lucky one, max it out, and then I'm done with one. I already knew this is what was going to happen before they even announced Armor Mewtwo and Pokemon Go, and we were kind of speculating that this is something we might see in the future because of the movie. I initially said the attack is going to drop. It's going to drop, the, the stamina is going to rise, and the defense is going to spike as well. I didn't know it was going to spike that high, but it sure did go up quite significantly. Given the new armor form that it does have, the ridiculousness of it. Oh, I'm not complaining whatsoever. I actually like the design. Um, I'm a big fan of the original, obviously, but this one, I mean, what can you do? We have it, it's here, accept it. That's as simple as that. Well, it's not as simple as that, but, well, yes, it is. Anyway... <laughs> New Armor Mewtwo, it's fine, it's cool, it looks awesome, personal opinion. Uh, moves, what do I think about those? Well, with that, with an attack like that, it doesn't matter at this point. It, does, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter. And it looks like Gengar is going to be one great counter, as, as well as Giratina Origin form. But yeah, Gengars are looking pretty good. Uh, say it, if it does have, it does have confusion, uh, that's going to still hurt your Gengars quite significantly being a part poison type. But if it does have Dynamic Punch, you're going to be four times resisting that, uh, giving you a long survivability. But on the other hand, Earthquake is also going to be doing a decent amount of damage. So is Rock Slide. Um, or sorry, sorry, Future Sight to your Gengars. Uh, Rock Slide is going to be neutral. Um, so yeah, looking pretty interesting. What do you guys think? What do you think here? Pretty crazy that we have this information. So Max CP. Uh, at level 40 is going to be 3187 and then 100% IV non-weather boosted 1821 weather boosted under windy weather is going to be 2276 all right so there you have it trainers uh, I will be leaving a link in the description for this so you can go and check it out yourself like I said all credit to the finders and Mewtwo will be coming in tomorrow so we'll be knowing all this information without having to look through all this kind of like dialogue here Anyways, thank you for watching, trainers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Armor Mewtwo coming in with these base stats and moves. Are you disappointed? Are you excited nonetheless just to have the Mewtwo armor form in Pokemon Go? Well, we will see. But there's one thing for sure. At least you're going to be able to turn on that Lucky Egg for a one-hour period and get a massive amount of XP if you have yet to reach level 40 or if you're trying to reach certain goals for your XP beyond 40 itself. Thank you for watching trainers and I will be catching you all next time. Take care.